What's up guys, it's Priest coming back to you with a brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 83 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run and get a little bit of gaming going. As Eden on hard mode. Let's go. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Thursday. Uh, we do get to start with Bible with really good stats. Uh, we also have hyper, not hypercoagulation, uh, vascular or something something whenever you kill enemies they shoot out tears that can hurt other enemies we start with full health okay nice the seed is tvdp wdd8 and we start out with really bad health which is unfortunate but the bible's a nice item to have i always forget to use it whenever i have it because i mean it does just give you flight which is very strong but yeah as you see the enemies are going to shoot out these red tears and i honestly really don't like this item because it always, I mean, I always get confused. I always see the tears flying at me, and I think that the tears flying at me are enemy tears because they're red, which I think is a little unfortunate. Makes the item kind of, kind of whack. But we're just going to hope that we get a good old run today. We got a little bit of health right there, which is nice to see. Ooh. What? Who? What? I don't even understand what just happened right there. It wasn't a moly boom, unless it was. What even? I don't even know what would explode up there. I don't know, maybe something died and like our item allowed something else to die as well. I don't know what's happening. But hey, it's all good. Let's go see what our first item is. And it is going to be Ares. Not my favorite item, but it does allow you to not take contact damage when you run into an enemy. Um, as long as you're going above like 0.8 speed. So if you like change direction, sometimes you will take damage. It's a little whack. But real quick, let's not forget about the shop. Okay, oh, okay, oh, 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 three cents. Who did that? Oh, okay. If we can get Black Candle, I will literally get married to one of you guys. One of one of you guys or gals. Doesn't matter. Either, either or. I don't know. I, I didn't know what to say right there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's reel that back. Okay, how is that not the secret room? If the secret room is some, I guess there there was a secret room right here, or super secret room. Doesn't matter. Ragman, you're getting touched. Just kidding. We can still get hit by a uh, tier damage whenever we're running, so we have to be careful about that. But if we really want to, if an enemy's coming at us, we can just go like Yaga. Okay, wait a sec. Wait, I gotta retry this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We we do not take damage, but I did slow down. You gotta be really careful. It's not like a thing that you really ever want to try doing. Cause it's very easy to just mess up and uh, get da da damage right there as you saw why okay we should be doing so much more damage is this just a ragman thing that's happening or what's happening okay ready yeah yeah oh wait this actually does damage okay wait a sec is this the new strat I think that's the new strat what the heck I never knew that does Ares cause you to do more damage that's kind of sick. Okay. Um, we got a damage up, which is huge. Is there anything else we can do on this floor? I know there is black candle. And there is a bomb. So the question is, is if we spend five cents on a bomb, will we get our money back by going to the secret room? The answer to that is who knows. And I feel like the secret room is honestly, yeah, I think the secret room is to the right of this room. Has to be. That's like the only area it really could be, I believe. Let's go in here real quick. I'm okay with losing a little bit of soul heart health. We do get Blood Puppy. I do hate Blood Puppy, if you guys didn't know. And we could have gone in here for free. Ooh, doesn't matter. But I just don't like Blood Puppy because Blood Puppy is annoying sometimes. It does damage to you. It's a little cringe. Give us that nickel. Give us that nickel, please. You are so beautiful. This game is just so dang good sometimes. It is just, it's just it. It's just awesome. Also, you ever see me looking over here? It's just because I'm very paranoid that my stream's just not working for some reason. Or my recording's not working. Which is always something I'm, I'm scared of. We did actually lose one Eden Streak episode once. It's <laughs> because what happened was I started recording and then forgot I started recording. So I ended the recording and then did my intro, did the whole video. And so there's just a... I think it's like the world's fastest Eden Streak is what it's called. I don't even remember. Uh, but we are going to go... Wait, I'm stupid. We are going to go alt path. Oh, nice. Full health is okay. I know I could have gotten that penny in that room. We don't need it. 
But let's get on out of here. Okay, we actually have really good money. The full health is not going to help us a lot right now. But if we do somehow get like a bunch of health, I guess we can use full health. So I'm just going to take it with us. Full health can be all, can be nice. No matter what. No matter what, it's, it can be nice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Item room off the rip. This is what I like to see. This game's actually being beautiful right now. You see how these tiers like just look like enemy tiers? It, it throws me off a lot. And tough love is so good. If we can get our luck stat up a little bit more, we have these tiers that do 3.5 times damage. I never know how much damage tough love does. I always think it's 3.5 times. Maybe it's two times. It might be two times. I think trick or treat's 3.5 times. I think, is it black tooth that does? Is that the one that does four times? I don't know. I don't know anything guys. That's what you guys got to realize. I'm actually clueless when it comes to this game. Let's use Bible real quick. And nice, perfect, beautiful, awesome. Uh, I might as well use a key to come in here because it could be the shopkeeper. It's not the shopkeeper. It's actually a bunch of random stuff I don't care about. So honestly, I could have saved money instead, or saved a key instead of going in there. But now I know it's actually useless. So now we are a better person because of it. Let's just keep on. Oh, man, we have so. Oh, and we got Vibrant Bulb. Okay, we're just going to have so much damage this, this time around. That's awesome. I like this a lot. And I'm probably going to stop using Bible as much if we have Vibrant Bulb. Because I really don't need to fly. Unless, like, I need to fly, then I'll do it. And also, the Super Secret Room is probably in that room we just exited. This is the only way to kill these fire. Those flies. I didn't even do it correctly. Just run them into the fires. And you'll you'll be the best best you'll be the best okay blood puppy go get him i think i'm gonna try to let blood puppy get huge this run because if you guys didn't know blood puppy actually can get to a, a second level of angry by doing enough damage to enemies and he becomes the most op creature in the world look we get a speed up we get a damage up we get everything up so let's get on out of here you just have to be very careful because he will do damage to us and that's never fun Hey, Blood Puppy, do your thing, okay? Stop. Do your thing, Bluppy. He will keep attacking enemies. So you gotta be a... I mean, it's, it's not the hardest thing to dodge him. But you do have to be careful. Because he... He's a runner. He's a track star, as they say. Yeah, dog, come at me. Thank you. I don't like how he just spawns in the middle of the next room. I find it just very weird. But we can make him super OP... And that's going to be the plan. We're going to see if we can make him the strongest ever. Oh, he can also drop hearts sometimes. So, like, he has uses. Like, he's not the most... He's not useless, per se. He does not get trapped up here. Nice. Okay, let's go to the item room. We're going to take Quince. Quince is also always a good item to have. It's, gonna, it's probably going to kill Blood Puppy at some point, so I got to be careful about that. But if we accidentally kill Blood Puppy, it's it's all good. I want to get him to, like, super high health. That's probably not going to happen. It's so annoying. I don't know why. If he, if he was like a um, Asaw, Dark Asaw, that would be super nice. But he's not. He just spawns in the middle of the room and wreaks havoc. But once he gets to his second level of angry, that's what I'm talking about right there. Ooh, my, how did I not get damage? Okay, I took damage anyways. That's just how it is. Let's go fight the boss. Okay, Bluppy. Bluppy. You got this, Bluppy. Look how much damage he does. I think Blood Puppy is actually the highest damage dealing bro in, in the streets. Okay. Oh, Blood Puppy. Blood Puppy. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually almost dead. I'm actually almost dead. Okay, we're, we're going to go to the shop real quick and hope that the shop has something for us. Okay, nothing. Car battery is pretty decent. If if it could get us health. Okay, I'm stressed, guys. This is bad. Okay, Blood Puppy, you actually just I'm gonna I'm half, having to annihilate you now. Thank you for your service, but you're canceled. You know what? This is how we guarantee the dub. This actually gives us more hits if we didn't take it. Okay. So we take you. Okay. So yeah, if we if we were to um 
not go into the white fire, we would actually have only one hit before we died. But now we have spectral tears, flight, and more hits before we die. Okay, this is one of my least favorite bosses. The spinny attack, whenever it spins and goes crazy, is the hardest thing in the world to dodge. But nice. We're actually gaming. Okay, uh, we don't need you. Petrified poop is cool and all, but we don't need you. We are going to fly over into here. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. The double item whammy. Now... Yeah, I'll come back in a second. We're going to see if we can get, like, some soul hearts. I feel pretty good. Honestly, we shouldn't take too much damage. I, like, what I, I I do like Blood Puppy. I like the idea of utilizing him. But unless you have flight, it's really, really hard to uh, actually use him correctly. Because you should get stuck in weird corners. He spawns in the center of the room, which is super awkward. That's just my biggest complaint. If he didn't spawn in the center of the room, like, every, like, three seconds, it'd be fine. But... It's just so easy to accidentally walk into him. He's like a caution that's always around. Okay, Colostomia, you actually scare me so much. If I believe in myself. Can you come at me? Thank you. Oh, I almost... Oh, that was a... That was a move and a half that I just did there where I almost bombed myself. That was sick. Okay, nice. That gives us at least a black heart. See, so, hey, now we're at a heart and a half. We can get on out of here. Okay, we get the chest. Oh, I love Crystal Key. I think, honestly, I think I take Crystal Key. Crystal Key can find us ultra secret rooms, and it's just like my favorite trinket out there. It's super fun. Also, always grab the knife pieces if you're coming this way, because hey, you never know. You never know if you're gonna go uh, do chase sequence and just get a super OP knife item that you can use at any time. It might happen. You know what? We're just doing this. We can do anything we could ever want to do. Also, I just want to make sure we get everything we possibly can. Okay, we don't have to go back into the curse room. It's too bad. I feel like it's kind of weird that you can't get, like, curse room chests and, like, boss arena room items. Because, I mean, if you doubled up on those, I guess it would be a little OP. But I feel like we deserve it. Okay, no tinted rock. This room can't have anything. Does this room have something? This room could have a secret room. Plus, I want these keys. Key. Nice. We're actually very rich and handsome. And you know what? I'm going to buy this card. It's just a death card. Let's buy this. Tears up is huge. That's actually insane. What the heck? We actually have max tier rate all of a sudden. I'm just going to take car battery for the road. Why not? And full health. Eh, I don't think I even need full health. The death card is probably going to do us better. I could have come in here to get... Eh, I don't even care. I don't care about getting that. Hey, at least we're at better health now. And I am just gonna go regular path. I don't think mines would be a good idea right now. What's crazy is, like, we are strong right now. It just... I don't know. It's just, we're, we're weak. We're weak in the knees. We're just, we just have no health. Strong with no health is a bad combo, because it makes me stressed out. So I know I can do well. I'm like, oh gosh, am I going to do well? The answer will never be known. Okay, please give me something. I don't need more luck. That's the crazy thing right now is I, I mean, I like more luck and I like more damage, but like I need health game. Thank you for like giving me the item that should like never drop to me. Also, okay, can you shoot the correct direction, please? Are you able? Okay, you are able. Please be something. That's too bad. We're going on an adventure, guys. Sometimes the key can just keep on going forever and ever. It can, it can sometimes never stop. That's too bad. It stopped. Okay. Um, left hand. Cool and all. But we don't need you. Let's see some stuff. Let's see some action, please. Let's go. I'm just looking for this ultra secret room. Come on, game. I know you can provide. I know you, game. Come on, game. I don't know where you're taking me. This is not where the Ultra Secret Room can, can even be. But I like it. I could have died right there. If that bomb hit me, I would have been dead. I also do have the death card. I should probably use it at some point. Watch this. This is when we get Magic Mush, which is a health up item, as well as a crazy damage item. Please be something good. Okay, Pretty Fly. This is what's good, is we can only get a health up right now 
And if we get a, uh, we, not, like, no pill can kill us right this second. Which is yeah. huge. I don't even want to deal with these guys. Let's talk about it. You know what? I'm already close enough to death. And this is a bunch of damage. So let's just do it. I'm pretty confident in myself. Okay, worm. Nice. There's so many tears everywhere. Ooh, dark one. You are actually such a gamer. I'm so excited. Oh, wait, we can actually use flight again. I'm stupid. Not, not that I could, like, there wasn't a point where I couldn't use flight. It's just we don't have vibrant bulb anymore. So there's no reason I should be holding, holding off. Holding back. Ooh, okay. Honestly, I'll come back to you. It, we can probably pay him out to get a health upgrade, which we probably should do sooner rather than later. I'll pop you real quick. I was very hesitant to... The, uh, even if when I have flight, I don't like jumping over spikes. Or going over spikes. It's way too scary. You could have a soul heart. You could have a soul heart. Either of you do. I'm just looking for the shop. Please. Please, game. Okay. Bombs are cool. Oh, blood puppy. 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 Oh! I've never seen that strat used before. Oh my gosh. Why are you so strong? Why are you not dying? Blood Puppy. I probably should not have picked up Blood Puppy. If I'm being straight up. But that was really good. Okay, can we please just find the shop? If I can get the shop, I would be forever grateful. That's fine too. I don't need this in my life right now. I do not need this stress right this second. Oh my gosh. That was so... I was on edge. Okay, don't give me scissors. Of all things to give me game, this game's on my bad list. I know I could probably get a really easy health up. I'm fine. I don't need the health up. Ooh, watch this. We place it right here. It's just in range of everything. Give me something. Don't even want that. It's nice. I do like it. Shot speed down. I do want Sackhead so bad. But I really need the health. I need the health so bad. So what I am going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come up in this room. Hope that there's enemies. Ooh, not these enemies, though. Not these enemies, though. I want to be honest. These enemies are not it. Let's go. Tinted rock for the first time in the f ever for some reason. Nice. Okay, now we are out of the territory where I'm constantly clenching in fear. Now we can win game. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to try to pay this guy out. If he doesn't pay out in 11, then I don't know what I'm going to do to him. It's going to be a bad day for him. Okay, a bomb. Okay, sir. And he gave me a little chest. Okay. This game... This game's getting on my nerves. We are just going to use flight here. I could do this with just bombs, but it would take too much maneuvering. And that's actually huge. Soul of Lazarus brings us back to life if uh, if we die. So, at least we don't have to worry too much. Okay, Peep is actually awful, but we have so much damage. It's actually insane how much damage we do. Like, we've had no luck with getting hit. This is what's stupid. Is like, I'm always so mad that we have, like, no stats, but it's because we have so much health. And then as soon as we loot, like have we, we get all the damage ups, we get no health whatsoever. So like, I gotta stop complaining. Okay, and we get a health upgrade. We come in here, we get a damage upgrade. And this is what I'm gonna do. Do I wanna fight this? I, actually, this is actually super easy. I'm not too concerned. Also, it's Uriel. Easiest fight of my life. Uriel is actually one of the more fun fights in this game because it's just so easy. If you get hit during it, you're, you're not bad because it happens to me all the time. We take you. We thank the world that we didn't die. And yeah, I'm not... I don't... Eh, I'll go mines. Why not? We'll do the chase sequence. We'll get the other part of the knife piece just so we can have the knife as an item. Ooh, and we get a tinted rock. If that was two hearts right there, I would have actually been in love with this game. I'm only... I'm only in like with this game right now. Let's see. Anything else on the floor? Nothing really. There was a bomb just randomly floating there. Yeah. There's nothing I can get on the floor anymore. But let's hope this is a good mines floor. And mines isn't that bad. We have so much damage that I don't really 
I'm not too scared about this run anymore. I'm just scared. Oh, that bone could have hit me at any point. That is the... Uh, that is the Ultra Secret Room, which is super sick. Half the time it is a health upgrade, but sometimes... Sometimes it can be something really good. And this is not really good. IV Bag is actually what I don't want to see. But I'm going to pop it. Why not? We have enough health to pop it. Let's do this real fast. Get some Shmoola. If this is a trinket... Nothing. If it's a trinket, nothing. That's that's all I gotta say. I, I, I jinxed myself. I realize it, guys. Not gonna lose any health right here. Okay. Ooh, we just run. We just run fast. Burkano, you're hired. If I somehow accidentally pro or use Soul of Lazarus, I'll just die. That's actually what happens. You die? I think you... Do you come back to life? I don't even know if you come back to life. I think you might not. Do you even die? I don't know what happens when you use it, actually. Now that I think about it, it's very scary. It's very ominous. But we're looking good right now. Honestly, I like what I see. Fastest in the world. Actually, got the movement of, a, of an angel. Ooh, okay. Angel deals need to be a little bit better this run. I'm going to say it. We really need some good stuff. I mean, that, that last angel deal is not bad. Wait, what was it? It was, it was a damage up, which isn't huge. It's not like anything super crazy. But it's good enough. Like, damage is fine right now. Okay, what's happening? What's happening? Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? Why? What are you? Nice. I like this. There's any red rooms nice because there's just an extra room for us. And as cool as this is... I don't think I want any of this. I mean, like, glowing hourglass is huge just so we don't die. But here we go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to throw this fire around. I think there's actually a secret room right here. Now that I think about it. Okay, I think I might have missed. There might still be a secret room here. No, no secret room. I'm convinced now. Okay, please give me at least, like, a soul heart from these fires. People always get so mad that I don't blow up the blue fires, but, like, they really don't have soul hearts that often. Like, they do sometimes. We all remember when they do. But they also don't a lot. Oh, this is a weird mind track. Can Blood Puppy please just don't attack me? That's all I'm asking for. Part of me just wants to blow this up, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, compost. Honestly, a booster pack could be huge for us. If it has, like, I mean, if it has a good reverse card, that's awesome. If it has, like, a Hierophant in it, that's awesome. And I did see that we did get a penny right there. I'm going to go back and pick up the penny. Don't you guys worry. I'm just making sure I'm investing wisely. Okay, sweet. I'm just going to blow this up real quick. To see if we can get magic mushroom that mushroom. We don't. The fadeaway. We get all the money in the world, and I don't think I care about these items. That's beautiful. We'll pick up the bean item just to pick it up for a second. It's actually pretty decent, but we do get an all stats up, which is huge. Oh my gosh. We are actually stonking it up right now. Ooh. What is this? Nice. The strength card is okay, but I kind of want Lazarus. Just having the little extra life, who knows when that can come in handy. I'm always scared. I'm always scared about death. Now, I'm going to go to the curse room for free. Ooh, and get Gimpy. I do love Gimpy. Gimpy is so, so good. Okay, there's now... There's now a soul heart in the curse room because of Gimpy. Part of me wants to go back and get it. It's actually a good idea to get it. <gasps> Extra item room. Let's go. This game's so good. This game's so good. And please tell me that I'm not gonna. Oh, I can still go in here. Let's go. And we get divorce papers. Actually, that's probably not a good idea to grab that. Cause that's actually useless. We're already at max tier rate. So that just means we have to fight two bosses for no stat increase. I guess we did get a bone heart from that, so that's kind of cool. 
Okay, and honestly, compound fracture is such a good item. Oh, listen, I want this, not the papers. Oh, you, you're you not the only one with bone attacks, buddy. Oh, and look, it worked. I want the pill. Oh, power pill! Let me eat you! Okay. Mr. Blood, Blood Puppy? I don't know why. I always think that Blood Puppy is made of lava. Does anybody else ever think that? I just think it just makes more sense in my head. We now we get another room. Nice. Oh, this is magic mush. The magic mush spot is here. I know it. Has to be, right? It's not. And this is why I love Crystal Key. Like, because we are finding like super secret rooms every once in a while, or ultra secret rooms. But we also just get random rooms, random item room, like just random stuff. That's good. And watch this. If I if I get this. This is beautiful. If I get this red heart health, we can go to the curse room for free. Let's go. So we pick this up. We come in here. We get a soul heart. We come out. There's no longer a soul heart in there. Sick. We are actually stonking it up right now. We are so we are we are so much we are doing so good now. I'm actually loving this run now. And we get another soul heart. Did I forget to press a button somewhere? So I'm gonna drop this candy if I hate it. Nice. So we already found the ultra secret room. Yeah, I forgot to press this button. There should be one more button to press, I think. I don't know where it is though. Ooh, worms. There we go. Okay, last button. I am just gonna do the boss fight real quick. It's probably gonna be, oh, it's you. We know it's not Gideon since it's not a long room. And that's pretty much the only thing you're ever hoping for. If, as long as it's not a long room, you're fine. Ooh, wow, we are fast. I did take a little damage. It's fine. We get the damage up. And we are just gonna do the chase sequence because if we do lose any health, like if we lose the soul heart, it's fine. Then we can actually get into the door very cheap uh, to go to Mausoleum. I mean, we have 8.63 damage in five tier eight. So we're actually kind of gaming. This is actually, this is actually such a good run. Okay, I feel like our I feel like so many of our runs recently have just been so lackluster. Like right now, we don't have like the craziest items or anything. I mean, combat fracture very cool. Um, getting like an all stats up and getting just a couple like decent stat ups, very cool. I forgot we got Aries. That was supposed to be the strat. But does that mean I can't take contact damage from the shadow? I think that means I can't take con. Actually, no, I don't have the item on me right now. We dodge, we throw. Actual gamer moment. Okay, we wait for you to jump at us. We do the door glitch. We stand right here. We run. Nice. Sick. You're about to chase me. You're about to chase me. Okay, that was unfortunate. But that's fine. That's actually fine that we lost the soul heart. Because no matter what, that soul heart was going to be gone. I'll explain that in a second. As long as we don't lose any other... If we don't lose our bone heart, we're fine. If we lose our bone heart, we're not, like, out of luck, right? Oh. I was... These rooms always confuse me because it's like they don't give you a bomb. So I'm like, okay, we're stuck. We're actually stuck. We're not stuck. We're fine. That was close. I just don't like these type of rooms, honestly. They're too skinny. I don't think that the skinny rooms have any reason to be here. Nice. I think the skinny, like, I don't know. This room is fun right here. I do like it. It's pretty enjoyable. But like, I feel like the, the newer rooms don't really add any, like, difficulty. They just add, like, a sense of, oh, I'm gonna die any second now from just, like, just being stuck on a one-way one walkway. That's my TED Talk, though. Let me show you guys the coolest life hack in the world, right? So you see how I have half a heart of health, right? We walk up to this door. Takes a full heart. Oh, I should have picked that up. You can actually use bone hearts to, like, get real cheap doors. It's actually beautiful. Um, Is, there, is that the reverse strength card that's over there? It might be. IV bag was in there. We already found... Oh, we didn't find the secret room yet. How do we not find the secret room? 
It wasn't where I thought it was. So we're, I guess it's probably... What? No, okay, wait. No way it's... It should not be right... Because it can't be below this room. Is it to the right of the shop? The only place it really could be is here. I forgot about Booster Pack. Oh, Reverse Judgment's insane. Joker card is awesome. Please take me to the Angel Deal. Let's go. Um, oh, and we get Seraphin. Okay, let's just fight this real fast. We have so much damage. We also have the knife. I'm not going to go Mother. I, I always feel like going for Mother is just not a fun time. Like, you don't get any extra items. You don't get really fun builds. So today, it's not a Mother run. Once again. Okay. Our tier rate's like through the moon. Tower card is cool. I'm going to actually go use this real quick. And we do have flight permanently now, which is very cool. Let's use the tower card. Uh, tinted rock, tinted rock. There we go. There's a tinted rock right... Oh, wait. Two tinted rocks right next to each other, actually. What the heck? That was sick crazy. We have a full health as well. And this right here could be magic mush. Who knows? Or it could be a shot speed down. That's fine as well. But all we really care about right now... Ooh, wait a sec. Is this... Is it smart to go use this in the Ultra Secret Room? I think it is. Because the Ultra Secret Room is going to have the Ultra Secret Room items no matter what. So it's only going to roll into red items. And red items are cool. Let's go. Okay, I'm not going to... I know I could keep rolling it to maybe get, like, Sacred Heart or to get Brimstone. But there's so many red items... And sometimes the uh, reroll machines blow up really fast. So I'm not going to risk that. I hope you guys are okay with what I just did. I think that was the best strat ever. But that's awesome. Okay. Full health. We don't need you. High Priestess. Hierophant is cool. I'm just going to take Hierophant with me. I don't really care about Soul of Lazarus anymore since we are actually very strong. But yeah. That's awesome. I'm very happy that we were able to get um, Immaculate Heart. Because it is a 1.5 times damage multiplier. And man, water's so good sometimes. Sometimes it just hits hits different. I do not need to do you. We can come in here for pretty much free. Watch this strat. Reverse lover's card. We gotta take that. Let me show you guys the strat. So this is what you do. You go boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to leave the first time. Usually what you want to do is walk into the spikes. That way you activate your iframes, grab the heart, and leave, and you'll lose no health. Nice. I can just fly over this. I'm kind of stupid. Ooh, okay. I do dislike everybody that's in this room right now. And let's get ourselves a red room, please. But I do like having the lover's card. It takes away one of our hearts. And gives us something good. So we're going to hopefully get, like, a good Angel Deal item. Okay, this guy is tanking those shots. I don't know how all all of them were hitting him directly in the face. That's just, that's just what happened. Okay, let's get this. Ring cap's pretty interesting. It lets you drop an extra bomb that does, doesn't affect us. If you, guys wonder, if you guys are wondering why that tears down didn't affect us, it's because... Once you get to tier cap, you still gain tiers, but like it doesn't actually count towards your tier rate. It just is like, you know, like bonus tiers that if you loot, get a tier rate down, it takes it from the bonus tiers. And once that runs out, that's when you start actually getting a tier rate down. So that's why you want to keep on taking tier rate up items, or it's okay to keep taking tier rate up items just in case. That's why it's okay to pop pills randomly sometimes. Watch this. This is one of my favorite things. Actually, let's line this up correctly. I don't know if that's going to blow up all of them. Almost. What are you? Emperor card's cool and all. I do like range as well. I feel like this might be the secret room right here. Actually, it's not. Maybe the secret room is here? Yeah, this seems like a more probable secret room. More plausible? Probable? I don't know what the right word is there. Probable, I think, is the actual correct word. Let's get you guys out, please. Nice. 
It would be super cool if we found the Ultra Secret Room again. Because we did find the Ultra Secret Room, we could use the Lover's Card to maybe get like Brimstone or something cool. I do love Ultra Secret Room. My nose. My nose is be itching hardcore right now. Okay, let's not take the wrong item. If we could get rid of the item that's been carrying us this whole time, I'd be sad. Watch this. Pro plays. Okay, uh, spider bite's okay. We can still take spider bite. I think the idea in that room is if you risk your, like if you take the mystery item, you get the double item, but if you take one of the non-mystery items, you don't get both. I don't know how it works. It seems that like most of the times that I do that room, I don't wanna do that. Like most times I do this do this room, I feel like I only get one item. I don't know if that's like a me being stupid thing or bad luck or, or what. That's huge. Lots of, that's a lot of money. But man, if we could have gotten the love, did we get the lover's card last? No, we got lover's card this floor. I'm glad we didn't get it last floor. Cause if I did get last floor and didn't use it with the uh, reverse judgment, that'd been a sad time. Okay, here we go. Let's just get you done and over with. We do get the insta kill on mom, which is awesome. So that's gonna be a very quick fight. Nice, quick and easy. Oh, don't hit the, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. There we go. There we go. We get the angel deal. We get a really bad item. We don't need it. It's sometimes nice to get, but not right now. And I think I'm probably just gonna use the lover's card here. Because we have, I think we have pretty much the same chance. Okay, I knew the fire was shooting at me. I think we have the same chance of getting Sacred Heart in this room or got like a good item in this room as we do in the Ultra Secret. You know what? Star Bethlehem is actually really fun. Let's just, we don't need... Actually, there's nothing we can really get from you. This is what we love about Star Bethlehem. Very strong. It's just not good for bosses. Like, I think it doesn't... Does it work for Hush? I can't remember. If it does work for Hush, it's cool. But it doesn't work for Mega Stand, which is too bad. And, yeah, we can just go next floor. We get the Insta Mom win. I do want to go to the shop. Hopefully, we can get something good from the shop. We always come in here. Oh, we also... I forgot that we also have Holy Mantle now. I'm just going to go this way real quick because since I kill things so fast, I'm going to go see if I can find the item or something over here. If you go the opposite way of Star Bethlehem, it just makes your full clearing a little faster. And oh my gosh. I don't... I think we take Crystal Key. I don't know. I feel like Crystal Key makes more sense. Because we're probably not going to get another Angel deal. That's a hard decision. Hopefully you get like a gold pill or like a trinket sm smelter would be cool as well. Black tooth is also good. Okay, any tinted rocks. I feel like there's a higher chance of tinted rocks to be in the red rooms and like the mines entrance and downpour entrance. It just seems that I see them there more often than not. Nice. Be a secret room right here? Might be. No secret room. Very sad. I feel like the secret room is going to be below this last room we were just in. It's like right here. What? Secret room is nowhere to be found. I'm just going to use bombs since we have so many. I'm so confused. Honestly. And this should be a very easy Mega Stan run if we decide to go to Mega Stan. I don't know why I wouldn't go to Mega Stan. Sometimes it's a little scary going there. I don't think this can actually be the secret room. I just wanted to get this chest. Thank you, Holy Mantle, for doing your job. If I took damage right there, I'd be a little sad. I wouldn't really be mad or anything, because like that's my fault for getting hit. I, just, I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, Wheel of Fortune... We do not use Wheel of Fortune. It can just re-roll us, and we don't want that. Okay, and let's... Scapular, you're fine. I was thinking maybe we take... Um, I was thinking maybe we take... Uh, Euphoria. Is that what it's called? Whatever it is. Because it can be kind of fun. Especially if you're going for Mega Stand, and you're like constantly shooting straight up. It can be super fun. I 
was so confused. I'm like, where are we going? I, mean, I don't see a boss fight. I feel like we've already been everywhere. And we get to go do the boss arena room. I love this. Nice. Damage up is huge. I do like that a lot. 11 damage is super good. Man, you don't really see the back of the mask that often. I feel like it never goes up. Is there just fire in there? That's what it looks like, I guess. And this is one of those boss arena rooms that you gotta... It's not really always worth it to go to. Because you do have to fight, like, harder bosses. Like, of course, this guy right here is, like, the easiest boss ever. But a lot of the other ones are really rough. I mean, since we're on Gehenna, it's a little bit safer. Because the Gehenna bosses are pretty easy, in my opinion. The mausoleum... Er, yeah, the mausoleum bosses are much harder. Personally. I'm just going to preface that. Everybody has their own strong suits. And I definitely don't want to risk this. I'm just probably going to, like... I don't know if I even want to take this with me. I don't know what I was doing right there, but ooh, I was not gaming. We have a lot of bombs. We don't want to do that. I think I'm probably going to... I can't pick up Filigree Feather before this fight. I feel like we just take Crystal Key. Filigree Feather is really cool, but the chances of us getting more, like, really any more Angel Deals is really low. And at most, we're going to get one. So do I want one more Angel item, or do I want a bunch of chances at getting Ultra Secret Rooms? Or just like red rooms that can be item rooms. I just think that it's gonna be more profitable this way. Anything? Nope. We are not losing health. It's nice. I love Holy Mantle so much. Uh, whenever I see it, I'm always like kind of disappointed. But then I remember that Holy Mantle just saves lives. It's insane. Okay. Another red room? For me? Now, sadly, this cannot lead to the ultra secret room um because this right here is where an ultra secret room could be located it has the ultra secret room has to be diagonal to a room so like this could be the ultra secret room above us could have been the ultra secret room but this right here can never have, or no that this room could never have the secret ultra secret room connected to it unless the ultra secret room is above here but since we already knew that it would never be up there Nice. And we got like all brother Bobbies right there. That was crazy. And off we go. Did we already find the secret room? We did not find the secret room yet. One sec. There we go. Ooh, and we get transcendence. Let's go. Transcendence, like it's not a good item or anything, or anything like super special. But it's a secret room item. So I like it. I'm stupid. Let's just pop this. Let's see, we didn't get the angel deal. I'm honestly, I'm going to go this way. We're going to see what devil deals we can get, what fun we can get up to. We're very strong right now, so I don't really, I'm not too scared. And this is where we actually follow Star Bethlehem. Because Star Bethlehem will lead us straight to the boss fight. No random stuff we have to do. Health down, kind of cringe. Paralysis, also very cringe. Maybe this is the secret room? Nope. Yeah. Man, I love Star Bethlehem. It's so strong. It just does so much. Pretty Fly is really good. I'm like, just look at this. It's almost too much damage, actually. Okay, stop. For a second. Nice. I really wish we could have, like, gulped or something that last floor. But it just wasn't in the cards. Look at this. See, we should actually fly through the floor. I'm going to wait for Star Bethlehem to actually get in here. So I can just actually melt the boss. Actually, this is going to be Mom's Heart. What am I talking about? It's a free win no matter what. I guess, sadly, we did get the angel deal. It's a bad angel deal. But we could have gotten an extra, an extra angel item. Which could have been very fun, but just not in the cards. There we go. That's too bad. I feel like it's better to have Crystal Key, though. And we did take the negative, so we'll go this way. I'm probably just going to go full clear this time. Who knows what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's just go full clear. 
I'm not too concerned. We have a lot of health. We have a lot of damage. All we care about with Star of Bethlehem is, is, is that it's at the boss fight when we get there. So if we full clear, it's always going to be at the boss fight when we get there. Unless we go crazy fast. I guess that's a slightly different story. Nice. There we go. Not the ultra secret room. Cringe. Pop up, please. Thank you. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I have holy mantle. I have holy mantle. I don't know why I, I emphasize it. Holy mantle. I have holy mantle. I'm going to use that. Nice. I don't know. For some reason, this feels like we're going to the boss. Like, this just feels like the more... Like, the... The likely boss fight route. Having to go down a small, like... Or a big skinny corridor... Just feels... Too right. Okay, nice. What are you? Ooh, a reverse judgment card. All hope is not lost yet, guys. We can reroll some stuff and have a little bit of fun. Ooh, let's go. I like this. Okay, I do love dark arts. We're not taking it. We're not taking blood bombs. We're rerolling till we get Sacred Heart or Brimstone. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's blow you guys up and see if maybe we get lucky with like a Steam Sale. We don't. But there we go. This is awesome. Okay, we can go to the curse room for free. Nice. This is a lot of having to get injured to go into a door. But I do like Brimstone. That's kind of sick. Getting Brimstone, I barely ever get Brimstone, but like it's pretty easy to get Brimstone whenever you're guaranteed a red item from rerolling. So I like it like it Picasso and see if we didn't if we took filigree feather we would not get brimstone okay what am I doing with my life health down we don't need you oh the health down's bad I forgot that we are going the negative route so we do need health for devil deals our health is not looking too hot guys I guess I could just go to the boss fight I'm probably just gonna go to the boss fight real quick we can blow you up yeah let's just go to the boss fight I don't want to keep running around if we've already found the ultra secret room the only reason i wanted a full clear is because it gives us a better chance of finding the ultra secret room because we have more chances of uh crystal key of actually working okay, all good oh dingle i do like just going all over the place because i mean you, you saw we can get like random like random item rooms you can get anything you can get a lot of cool stuff with Crystal Key. You can get uh, planetariums as well, which is fun. So if we could get like a planetarium for free, or an item room, or a devil deal, or anything, that'd be very sick. But it's very rare. Very rare. It seems that usually the item rooms and stuff are usually deeper in. What is this? Nice. Crystal Key's really proccing a lot today. I don't know. Usually it doesn't work that much. Okay. okay. What do you have for me? Nothing. Nice. And Satan, it's your time to die. That's close enough. Can we stand right here? Brimstone? Nice. We circle around. This does give us homing, which is pretty sick. So we can just do this. Makes our life so easy. That's insane. Okay, nice. Let's go see what devil deal we get. I could take that to get a bone heart. Don't think it's worth it, though. We are going to have four hearts of health to turn in for devil deals. I don't really care about Brother Bobby. I don't think I want any of these. Actually, watch. We can just do this. We take you. We can buy everything for 15 buckaroonies. We pop you. Get a free familiar. Now we're just going to go find the lamb and maybe get an ultra secret room. Okay. I forgot that even the red rooms just have bosses in them. Not that it's like it's the bosses are going to be that hard. They're still scary. It's kind of sad. Wait, do we actually have... Do our tears still split off of enemies? No, they don't. It's a little whack. Okay, what are you? Thunder thighs I don't really care about. 
Thank you for turning back into your regular self. Ooh, I forgot we have a Zazel Stump now, which gives us the Mega Brimstone Blast. Please? Ooh. I love Red Room so much. It's just it's just like a like a nice little game. It's like, ooh. When I walk in this room, are we about to like just win at life? Are we about to get the Ultra Secret Room with Sacred Heart? You never know. Hey. Good stuff. The heck? How did Star Bethlehem get away from me so fast? That was crazy. Like, it is, it's decently quick. Oh my gosh, I barely dodged that. My fingers were like, I was about to walk to the left and he was about to shoot. And I was like, oh. Oh my gosh. Very destructive powers. Hey guys, I'm losing a little bit of health right now. I'm kind of scared. Just I didn't lose health. I just got hit for my holy mantle. I know I'm not talking that much right now. I don't know. I'm so tired. I'm just always tired. This is why I haven't been streaming lately. I just have like a, I feel just brain dead. I'm like, hmm, if I were to stream today, would I be able to like actually like talk for like three hours? Most days the answer is no. Okay. Ooh, okay. Good stuff. Get out of here. What in the world? I've never seen this room in my life. This is the craziest setup. This is like one of the coolest rooms ever. What in the world? Watch this. Yeah. 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 Okay, I gotta stand far away a little bit. Okay, now we can stand just in here. We're just gonna tank a little bit. Ooh. Okay, we killed the body. I don't know how we killed the body so fast, but we did. We back up so we don't accidentally go into the chest. Now we can get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna go full clear real fast, and then we're gonna go fight Megastan. Okay, I'm not gonna waste a bomb. There's no reason to. And full health is fine. Yeah, we'll shoot full health. Now, what are the chances we find the Ultra Secret Room? I know they're not good. The chances could be better. I'm excited. I feel like this is going to be a good... I'm, I feel like this is going to be a good floor. I, there's some feeling I got. I feel like there's going to be something crazy. Maybe C-section? I'm not seeing C-section of Brimstone, I don't think. Have I? Maybe I have. That attack always gets me. I don't... Like, some attacks just have, in, like, infinite range. Which is so random in my... my like, in my mind. Nice. Ooh. No Ultra Secret Room yet. We're gonna find the Ultra Secret Room. You might as well just show up so I can have it. I just want these, the Ultra Secret Room item, please. Nice. Oh, I hate these guys so much. These guys just do so, like, they have, they're so tangy. They're scary to fight. Please give me a chest or something. These red rooms that don't pay out are lame. Okay. I'm intrigued now. I don't think I need this. I'm probably gonna take Chris that with me in a second, but I'm gonna try using. What am I, what even do I have right now? I have no no health, which is very scary. Yeah, I'm out of here. I don't want this build. Take it back. Take it back. That was cool and all, but no, thank you. I like my health more than anything. Okay, we're going to full clear. We're going to come back and get Cancer in a second. We're just going to make sure that we utilize Crystal Key to its full potential. Nice. Where are you? Juicy Sack. I like you. Picasso. Can we get... I feel like we... Dang. Ooh, a bedroom. Okay, I like that a lot, actually. It is a P bedroom, which means that this right here is not going to have a crawl space. It's very sad. Only clean bedrooms have crawl spaces. That's why you guys should clean your bedroom every day. Just kidding. I don't even clean my bedroom every day. Okay, here we go. Money? Anything? I mean, I don't even want money. I don't know why I'm asking for it. We can't do anything with you. 
This is our last chance. Like, this room could actually have this, the Ultra Secret room off of it. So if we do get a red room here, it's going to be very hype. Very sick. This is not the red room we wanted. But all good. Okay, let's go get Cancer. Because we are done with this trinket. I don't think I'm going to go... If I do get Delirium, this is just not a Delirium build. Delirium builds, like, you want to be, like, super, super, just very overpowered. This right here is fine for Mega Stan. Like, Mega Stan, you can beat with, like, any build, really. I'm just going to play it safe. I don't know why I even carried Bible around with me. I probably should have just done um, Monster Manual. That way I could get all the familiars. Okay, sweet. Blood Puppy is just going to randomly attack me at some point. I feel it. So let's not do that. Okay, that's good damage. I mean, our damage is pretty decent. It's just Brimstone get, did get nerfed enough to where it's like... It's hard to be super OP with Brimstone. Because it's better to have like high, like high damage, max tier rate tiers than is Brimstone, I feel like. So once you max out Brimstone's tier, like, tier rate, it just doesn't seem that strong. Okay, I just want to shoot you in the face. Thank you. This is one thing that is nice about Brimstone. It's like the most penetrative damage you can possibly have. It actually just ruins people's careers. Look at that. Super easy for clearing regular bosses, but not super overpowered for big bosses like Mega Stan, Hush, Delirium. We don't like to see it as much. It is very good for clearing rooms. But I much prefer like Mom's Knife and regular tears whenever it comes to like Hush and Delirium and Mega Stan. Just because I don't like having to charge up a bunch. Like, going into a room, just using one shot to kill everybody, that's satisfying and fun. But going to a boss fight and just holding over and over again gets very, very repetitive very, very quickly. And yeah, man, I just want an Eden's Blessing run. I want a very fun Eden's Blessing run, like the Godhead 2020 run we had that one time. That was insane. That will forever and always be one of my favorite Binding of Isaac runs I've ever done. It was such an OP start. It was the easiest run ever. But here we go. Second phase. Let's get you out of here. Let's just not take damage from this. These tiers are very whack. I never know how to dodge them. Like, they're not the hardest things ever, once you really look at them. But they're scary. These things are, too. Just move around so much. Ooh, and the slowdown effect is never good because it does leave us with, like, no space to dodge. But don't worry. I'm a trained professional. I can dodge anything. Okay, yeah, right here, don't know how to dodge that. Okay, and you are so low on health. Fine. We're tanking it now? Actually tanking it? I don't know why. Oh, Celtic Cross is actually coming in clutch. I don't know how I'm dodging this right now. I'm literally just moving randomly and hoping I don't get hit. Actually, Pretty Fly is probably blocking most of that. But there we go. We finally got that done with. And oh, no Delirium Portal, it looks like. Ooh, yikes. But yeah, I don't think that's a run to do Delirium on. It's just that's it's just a little too risky in my opinion. I feel like going there with a 12 damage Brimstone not would not be the most fun. But that was a very fun 83rd win in a row as Eden. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.